In video 2.2.1, Max and Min used two different methods to add 35 and 55. Min split the numbers to make it easier for herself, and Max preferred to use a number line, just like this. One particular morning before school, the twins were discussing with their mum how there are often several ways to solve number problems and that we can usually use the method we find easiest. Solving a problem means following a method to get the correct answer. So mum, said Min, sometimes just changing the order when we write the numbers makes them easier to add or subtract. For example, adding 6 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 would be easier if we wrote them in this order. 6 plus 4 plus 8 plus 2 because it is easy to see that 6 plus 4 equals 10 and 8 plus 2 equals 10. So the total is 10 plus 10, which equals 20. That's correct, Min, replied her mum. Another way of solving a problem is by temporarily adding or subtracting one or two to a number to make a problem easier to solve, then adjusting the total at the end to get the final answer. For example, for the problem 88 minus 29, if I take an extra one away from 88, the problem becomes 88 minus 30, which is easier to subtract. This equals 58. Then to finish the problem, I just add back the extra one I subtracted. So the final answer is 59. Another example of this could be 54 plus 18. To make this easier, just add another 2 and the sum becomes 54 plus 20 which equals 74. Then take that extra 2 away again to get the final correct answer of 72. And sometimes, piped in Max, another method is using very small sums to solve much bigger ones. I mean, if we had to solve 4,000 minus 2,000 plus 3,000, we know that 4 minus 2 plus 3 equals 5, so then the much bigger sum would equal 5,000. Another method I really like to use, said Min, is to use place values to split up numbers before adding or subtracting. For example, the sum 7,453 plus 2,336 can be split into place values. 7,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 3 plus 2,000, plus 300, plus 30, plus 6. We can then add the units. 3 plus 6 equals 9. Add the tens. 50 plus 30 equals 80. Add the hundreds. 400 plus 300 equals 700. Then add the thousands. 7,000 plus 
2,000 equals 9,000. Finally, we can rejoin the numbers into their correct place values or positions to get the total number 9,789. I like that method, added her brother. Another example of that is 8,794 minus 5,474, which we can split into 8,000 plus 700 plus 90 plus 4 minus 5,000 minus 400 minus 70 minus 4. Note that every part of the second number is being subtracted. 4 minus 4 equals 0. 90 minus 70 equals 20. 700 minus 400 equals 300. And 8,000 minus 5,000 equals 3,000. Rejoining the numbers into their correct place values or positions gives us the total number 3,320. Now you can watch this video again to practice the different methods for adding and subtracting numbers. Or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.